you know, not having family was definitely something, especially it being probably the biggest meet I've ran my whole entire career. That was one thing, but just knowing that coming home, you're gonna have those people that have been supporting you from the beginning and the people you've been working with all year to get you to that, that exact point, it was definitely special. Uh, definitely made me smile. It was a little, a little overwhelming, but I enjoyed all the moments. You know, it was just a nice welcome home, you know, back in the States. I knew that I was capable of that. I knew that I could run that time, I knew I could get a medal. It's just when it all comes together, I think I was just a little bit shocked. And like, it was overwhelming, but it was, it was a really good moment. Even though there wasn't a crowd there, it's kind of been like that all year. So just kind of used to it, went with it. And it was, yeah, it was definitely a memory that will last a long time. Represent America middle distance to the best. And me being able to be on that podium and still see our flag going up. Um, I just think that for um, just my career, it was just a moment that I was super grateful to be a part of. And then also to have, um, you know, Keely do really well. Um, it's just, you know, the girls, they both have great personalities, and that's, I feel like that's what makes it the best overall experience. Yeah, so for me, I uh, came back, and I feel it's definitely more difficult traveling uh, back from Asia than it was going there. So for me, it was kind of get back into the rhythm of things. It's really easy to come off of a big meet like that and be, okay, season's winding down, I'll just take it easy. And I've kind of toned it down a little bit, but was quick to get back to throwing, back to lifting. Uh, just still have a lot of track left, at least for, I think, all the guys up here uh, have a f still pretty much a European season left. So I uh, got back to that and just kind of been laying low, spending time with the family. Uh, and it's been a pretty relatively relaxed uh, 10 days or so. Being an American shot putter, I, I've always felt this responsibility that if you can make the team, you better come home with some hardware. So I, I feel fortunate I made um, five straight and came home with hardware for five of them. So I think that's something that's really important to me. I mean, it's, for me, it's, that's my job. You know, being an American shot putter, we do pride ourselves in having the most depth in the world, and that Olympic trials is never easy. But once we can get through it, I think um, I'm really proud to, to go one, two, and to keep the medals coming in the U.S. and to keep the streak alive. I mean, for us, we are the exact same podium 2016 as this Olympics, and I think we're dispelling a lot of myths that the rotational shot, you're not consistent, and all these things that people used to talk about. I think, uh, like Ryan was saying, he's had a lot of far throws. Tom's had a lot of far throws. I've had some far throws that, on the days that are supposed to. So uh, I'm just really proud that the U.S. can keep on holding its ground and uh, fighting to get those medals at the major championships. Uh, yeah, we went over this morning, and uh, me and Joe had our, had our own competition. I think we, uh, who won that, Joey? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> uh, look, it's, I think it's just looked my right here. You know, these uh, these two guys and, and Romani too. You know, I think there's a there's a big divide in men's shot put at the moment, uh, and I think there's the four of us and the rest. Um, and I know that uh, you know if I'm not having a good day, one of these guys uh, will. So, and, and I and I hate losing too. So, uh, yeah, that's a big motivator for me. Uh, it's great to be back in, here in Eugene. Uh it's my first location, uh, winning uh, winning mile and uh, international mile after after Bahamas World Relay in 2015. So I um, feel great to be here, to be back here and compete again. I win twice here, so I feel great. And uh, thank you for Nike and uh, Eugene organization. Yeah. Well, great to have you back. Welcome back. So although Tokyo wasn't the result I was looking for, it doesn't change the fact that I'm relatively fit enough to come out and have another PR uh, tomorrow. So that's kind of the main goal. And obviously these guys that are sitting next to me and the rest of the field are more than qualified enough to drag me around the track for a fast time. So. Um, yeah, I think I'm in good form going forward. Um, obviously, the field's amazing. Um, these two guys, and we've got another, a lot of other guys as well. So um, I'm predicting it's going to be fast. Um, I'm excited. I feel like I've gained momentum throughout the season. So um, I'm hoping to be right in the mix. But yeah, I think it's just the amount of guys we've got in the field who are so good. It's going to be a yeah, pretty amazing race to watch. And hopefully, yeah, we can clip that meet record. That'd be nice. It was a long road, but I mean, it's a part of the package. You have injuries that will have you down for some time, but I'm a fighter and I keep fighting through all those obstacles and those hurdles that I've been hurdling. So, as I said, I still have a lot of love for the 400, not that I stopped running the 400. I just took a break and the break was really, really good for me. So, you know, 
Um, we'll have to decide that next season. Next season is the World Championship, so we'll decide which event I'll be able to run there. I've been doing what I was doing before um, the game situation happened, training, doing it is that me, my coach, my support system been doing, knowing to do, and this is nothing new. We're just back on the track now. And uh, training's gone well. You're, you're happy where you would be, whether you had competed in Tokyo or not? Um, yeah, it's training has been going well, but regardless of the situation, mm -hmm. um, I have no complaints. My talent has not went anywhere, so just ready to get back on the track. Yeah, and you love competition, and this brings all that competition right to your doorstep. So just talk about just having that motivation of knowing you're going to have these women to line up against tomorrow. Oh, um, lining up against these women uh, is going to be an amazing race tomorrow. They're two of the Two of the women sitting here are two of the fastest women to ever do this sport. So I'm honored to just be on the stage with them, but I'm not starstruck. Yeah. <laughs>